Hi, welcome to Yovi's Home. I make new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today I'm going to go through a list of different shops and types of places where you can find things. Maybe you're new in Holland and you're like, oh my gosh, where do I buy this or that? Because that's how I felt when I moved over and I was looking for certain things and I didn't know where to start. So instead of wasting your time trying to look at everything, stay tuned for this video. We're going to cover food, we're going to cover home basics, we're going to cover furniture, home improvement and hardware type stores, electronics or white goods appliances, kid and baby stuff, drug stores, and then lastly, we'll talk about clothes and shoes. So if that sounds good to you, then come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Before we get into the specific shop names, I do wanna mention just a few really quick things about the Netherlands. Number one, the Netherlands is not very credit card friendly. So most shops accept a Dutch pin, so like a debit card, but it has to be from a Dutch bank. And then they also accept cash. It is very rare, except for some huge purchases, but it is rare that like even in the supermarket that you can pay with a credit card. A quick tip is if you're moving over uh, from a country that does not use the Euro currency, try to have enough in your pocket that you can, you know, go and do like a huge grocery shop, you know, when you land um, and have enough to pay for that in cash and then just have other cash. But know that it's gonna be difficult to actually use a credit card um, and in the time that it's going to take you to set up a Dutch bank account you will need to you know buy things so just you know plan that and bring enough cash if you can. Two magic words that you should know in Holland Korting which is discount and Goedkoop which is cheap. In my experience um, there are kind of like two extremes um, in terms of shopping in the Netherlands. You have like the super cheap stuff like the really like like a disposable economy, you know, like single use kind of stuff, like cheap, you know, cheap, cheap stuff. Or you have super high end. I struggle to find some kind of middle um, ground. If you know of some like middle ground stores that I am not listing in the, in the next uh, section, please let me know. Cause that's what I would like to see more of here. And Holland is like more middle, like not so cheap that it's gonna break after two uses, but not, I don't need like a fancy designer thing either. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know, let me know in the comments below, please. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention before I get into the actual stores themselves is these weekly mailers that come. So this is kind of, it's how I, I'm gonna set them down because they are very noisy, but this is what it looks like. It comes in a, in a plastic thing. Um, but basically either on a Sunday night or a Monday, um, somebody will drop this off at each house um, and inside is all the folders or the advertisements for what's on sale that week and the types of shops um, that have the sales. If you are already living here and you have not received one of these, check to make sure that you don't have a sticker, the nay nay sticker. We'll insert a picture somewhere um, of what that looks like, which basically tells the delivery person like, I don't want to receive this kind of junk mail. Um, but if you are receiving this and you don't want it, then I'll also leave a link down below for how you can get a Nay Nay sticker to tell people that you don't want to receive this. But basically once a week I get this and I flip through and I see what is on sale where, because a lot of shops sell the same things or the same like brand type of thing. But this week it might be on sale in one shop and next week it'll be on sale in another shop. So I'd rather buy it on sale as opposed to, you know, paying full price if I don't have to. So those mailers, I find them convenient. Some people might find them annoying, but yeah, up to you what you like. So, all right, that said, let's get into this video. These are just kind of like the biggest and the most common ones, the ones that you're gonna probably see wherever you're living in whichever Dutch city you're at. But again, if you are watching this video and you already live in Holland and I don't mention something, please do leave it below. Okay, the first and most important thing to buy when you land here is food. So the biggest supermarket and the most, let's say like well-known supermarket in Holland is called Albert Heijn. They have them pretty much everywhere. Albert Heijn is also known as kind of like more of the, ex like a more expensive supermarket they're not like high end it's not all very fancy but you know certain things might be a little bit more a few cents more expensive at albert hein than at some of the others 
But one thing that sets Albert Hein apart, at least for me, is that Albert Hein has an incredible home delivery service. So if you are, you know, a mom with some small kids or, you know, you're unpacking all of your stuff and you don't really have time to go shopping and, you know, whatever, you're busy. We're all busy. We all have things we're doing. Being able to shop on the Dutch, like on the website of Albert Hein and then have them deliver it into my kitchen is like really amazing. Um, have a look at my what's in my fridge video where I like kind of show you all the things that I buy and I just love it. So. Albert Hein for me is like the, the most convenient place. It's the place where I shop most, mostly, um, because of the home delivery. That said, Albert Hein does not accept credit cards. And for the home delivery service, you can only pay with the Dutch pin. You cannot pay with cash um, or anything else. So keep that in mind. Other supermarkets to look out for are um, it's called Plus or Hochfleet, Cope, C-O-O-P, Lidl or Lidl, I don't know how you pronounce it, L-I-D-L. -L. There's Aldi here. Then there's a kind of like a fancy one where they do sell more high-end and certainly more pricey things. That is called Marked, M-A-R-Q-T. Um, and then we also have Yumbo or Jumbo. <laughs> Um, and then there's another shop called Dirk, D-I-R-K. Um, I'm sure that there's more and that I might be missing some, but these are kind of like the biggest ones, the main ones that you'll see throughout the country. In addition to the regular supermarkets, the Dutch culture has a lot of respect and it's like very popular to have kind of farmer's markets. And he, like in the city where I live, which is not like a huge city, but it is a city, like Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays, we have different, different ones happening in different parts of our town, city. So yeah, farmer's markets, this is great for, we're gonna wait for my dishwasher to drain. So farmer's markets are great. Um, that's also an option to buy local, buy fresh. Um, but then again, if you're working during the day, the hours of the farmer's market are during the day too. So it can be hard to actually get over to a farmer's market, except on Saturdays when they are wild or crazy. Lastly, I did want to mention a web only. So it's an app um, supermarket and it is called Picnic. Depending on where you live, the waiting list can be very long or not at all. Um, but basically you install the app on your phone and you can shop through the phone app. It's free delivery. The minimum delivery order amount is like 25 euros and they will yeah, deliver the food to your home. So that is another good option if you are into home delivery. Okay, the next kind of category of shopping stuff, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for this dishwasher. How are you guys doing? We had a really fun weekend buying some stuff for the garden and at, um, my husband and I, we can sit down on the furniture and, and watch them while they play in the, in the sunshine. That'll be nice. All right, so the next category um, that we're gonna cover is kind of, I'm gonna call it home basics. And by that, I mean sheets, towels, just like, you know, stuff that you need to get settled in. Um, also, you know, irons, vacuum cleaners, um, and then cleaning supplies. So in addition to other things, but kind of that's what I talk about when I talk about home basics. So if you are looking for, if you're familiar with and you're looking for a Target or a Walmart, forget it. There is nothing like that here um, on that scale. But the closest thing that would come to, let's say, Target um, is called Hema. The only thing about Hema is that they only carry their own brand. They don't carry anything else. So if you're looking for something that is not Hema specific, like if you want, I don't know, Dove soap, you're not gonna find that at Hema. So keep that in mind. Other shops, uh, you have Blocker, and there you have lots of different things. Sometimes like little seasonal things, some cleaning things, some small electronics, like electronic toothbrushes, things like that. Coffee makers, you know, that kind of thing. For like home decor, or like if you're looking for things like baskets, pillowcases, uh, de decorative, 
decorative pillowcases. Mm, maybe, yeah, they have like forks and knives. They sell some kind of like plates, you know, this kind of thing. You can also check out Zenos, which is spelled X-E-N-O-S. This is a really one of like the more cheap uh, options, but they do have, you know, if you're just landed and you need something, it's a good place to check out. Also, we have Zeman, Z-E-E-M-A-N, um, Action and Webra. These are all different types of shops that have this kind of home type stuff that you might need. The next category um, that I'm going to be covering is like for furniture and now for furniture I mean big things so if you need a sofa or if you need a bed that's what I mean for furniture. The place that I would suggest that you go there are two places so the first place is Ikea which I'm sure you have one wherever you're coming from um, but if you don't want Ikea stuff there are shopping malls but they are specifically for furniture and they are called mega stores or woon w-o-o-n plazas um and these are kind of like a little bit on the outskirts of towns or cities because they are actually big big shopping malls and in those shopping malls they have tons and tons of different stores um also like different price ranges so you have some very fancy ones and you have some very cheap ones but that's kind of like the one-stop shop where you can have lots of different things to have a look at and to choose from. They'll have everything from like places where you can buy and design a full kitchen to places where you can buy tiles and, you know, sinks and toilet seats and things like that. And then they'll also have, you know, sofas and armchairs and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So inside of these like mega stores or wound plazas, I would say the best like one-stop shop to go when you're looking for furniture for your new home. In addition to that, <laughs> excuse my dog behind me, um, we have, as I mentioned earlier, lots of Ikeas. Then there is another shop called Woon XL, which I would describe as the Dutch version of Ikea. You have a shop called Yisk, J-Y-S-K. That is also like another smaller scale, but Ikea type shop it's like scandinavian but yeah um and then the last one i'm going to mention is called car y k-a-r-w-e-i dan will correct me we'll put up some signs here um but that's also like another shop where you can find some kind of like bits and pieces for your house like some some like furniture bits Oh, and Lane Bucker, L-E-E-N-B-A-A-K-E-R. That's also another good shop for, you know, they have like sofas, armchairs, mm, sheets, just like, home, I mean, home stuff, right? So that's that. The next category is home improvement or hardware stores. So there are three main ones. There's Praxis, Gamma, or Gamma, is and as a non-Dutch person would say it. So Praxis, Hama, and Hornbach. Hornbach is, I would suspect, okay, so this is not confirmed, so do, 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 theory, right? I think it's owned by the Home Depot because their signage is exactly the same. Their stores are laid out exactly the same. The colors, I mean, it's like that orange Home Depot kind of looking thing. And they are so, so similar. They even wear the aprons. I mean, I really think they're owned by Home Depot. So if you're looking for like a Home Depot type place, Hornbach, Praxis and Hama are kind of the same, but much smaller. And then you also have local small hardware stores that sell like little bits and pieces. Mm, that's more of what you would find maybe in a city center because you're not going to find any of these like big hardware stores in like a, like in, like a city center. So that's that for hardware stores. Next up is what I would call the white goods or appliances or electronics um, category. The biggest or like the most well-known, I would say, shop here is called Media Mart. But I must say that is not my favorite place. I have not had the best um, customer service experiences there, um, neither in the store nor using their website. But that is, you know, if you need to go to a shop, a physical shop that is going to be probably the nearest to you, and buy something and like walk out with it that day, you have media marked. If you can wait a couple of days and you don't mind to buy something online, maybe you know exactly what you want, then I 
really would recommend some, a store called or a website called Cool Blue. I've had great experience with them um, and thoroughly enjoyed every purchase I've made. Not sponsored, this video is not sponsored. I'm really just sharing my experiences. Um, and then the last place that I would mention is called Funk, F-O-N-Q. That is also like a website or like a, like a, yeah, it's an online shop. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about kid and baby stuff. So the biggest kid, or not the biggest, it's definitely not the biggest. They are the, actually the stores are the smallest, but it's the one that is the most prevalent, like that you'll see everywhere. And that is prenatal or prenatal. Um, they have those, they're like kind of small, small type shops, but those are located in city centers. And you know, if you don't have a car and you're, you know, with your bicycle or whatever, prenatal is probably gonna be the best place for you to go. However, if you have some transportation, some wheels available outside the cities, you have a huge, huge um, selection at a shop like Baby Park, Baby Dump, or it's called Baby and Teener or Baby and Teenager translated. Um, these are three kind of shops. They have them in different parts. I mean, it's not just like one shop in the whole country, but they have great, um, great selection. They are really huge and that's gonna be your best bet. If you need, for example, um, to find, you know, a crib and a, and a whole like bedroom for your baby, or if you need, you know, if you're gonna be a new parent and you need like all the things, that's gonna be a better bet. Although you can buy them at Prenatal, the selection in my opinion is gonna be the smallest and it is kind of pricey to shop there. But if you're just looking for, you know, like a gift for someone or a pack of diapers or something, you know, you need one like little onesie or something, Prenatal is great and they're near. In terms of drugstores, there are three that I would like to mention today. The most kind of like typical drugstore is gonna be Atos, E-T-O-S, um, yeah, drugstore. Similar to Atos, <laughs> he's sneezing. <laughs> you okay, baby? He's good. The, uh, the other um, drugstore that is kind of similar to Atos, but I think it has like better prices and better sales more often. Um, that would be Karaudvat, K-R-U-I-D-V-A-T. Um, that's also like a really great spot um, to shop for also like laundry detergent and stuff. That's like my favorite place to buy stuff um, for the laundry when it's on sale. And by that, check those flyers that I was talking about if you get those delivered to your house. And the last um, kind of drugstore I wanna mention is called De Townen or Holland and Barrett. And what that is, is that's gonna be your more natural kind of um, homeopathic um, vitamins, herbs, supplements, that kind of shop. So if you're looking more for that, that you will find at the town Inn. And also in the town Inn, they have lots of different food for special um, diets. So for example, if you're diabetic and you're looking for more of like the um, low carb stuff, you're gonna find that at the town Inn. Um, you know, lots of like coconut oil and different types of oil, like different, more natural um, based foods and things that you'll have at the town. Then. When it comes to clothes and shoes, um, I mean, going to the city center and walking around, you're going to find all these like little shops, but there are a few department stores that I felt like were worth mentioning. The first one that I'm going to mention is by far the most expensive. And then this is like the complete opposite of what I was talking about earlier with like the cheap stuff, like the Bayankorf, which is the name. The Bayankorf is like, I would say one of the fanciest shops that you can shop at in the Netherlands. And that's where, you know, they have like Gucci and, you know, I don't know, Kate Spade. And I'm not a, I don't really shop brands so I'm struggling now to think of like the fancy brands but that's also like a fancy place where you'll find very high-end like makeup and cosmetics you know not drugstore prices but like if you're looking for a Chanel perfume that's where you can go so the buying corp is like the biggest and fanciest of all the department stores 
And then we have also TK Maxx, which if you're coming from the States, you know it as TJ Maxx. Um, and if you're coming from the UK and Canada, then it's familiar to you. Um, but yeah, so there's a TK Maxx. And then I also wanted to mention a big kind of department type store called C&A, um, which also has, you know, home, shoe, like, you know, department store stuff. Like, I don't need to explain that to you guys. You know what a department store is. The last, last category that I'm going to mention today is the kind of like two online shops. They're only online, but they are very Dutch. And I think these are very popular with Dutch people. And this is where they shop. One is called Vekamp.nl. Um, let's put let's put that on the floor on the bottom so people know. Um, so at Vekamp.nl, you have everything from clothes and shoes to furniture to you know cleaning to like everything that you kind of need. Um, you have there. Sometimes the prices are great, and sometimes it's you know cheaper than other shops, but. I don't know, I don't find that that's like my, it's not my personal favorite, but please, if you're watching this video and it is yours, like tell me what I'm missing. Like tell me what, what I'm not getting here and um, educate me, please. And educate everyone else who's gonna benefit from your guys' comments below. Um, and then the, the last website um, is called bol, B-O-L dot com. Um, and that is, that's the Dutch version of Amazon. Because there is no Amazon um, in Holland, or it's not really big here, um, Bull.com is huge. It is the one um, where most people shop. Um, again, it's not my personal favorite. I would rather shop on German Amazon, Spanish Amazon, French Amazon, or UK Amazon, and then just have it delivered here. Um, well, UK Amazon is not going to really be in the EU anymore, but any of the EU Amazons that are big, they will generally deliver for free to Holland too. That's my preference. However, if you want to like shop local and support yeah, local, you have bowl.com and Vacom. All right, guys. So that completes this video. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you so much for any time that you spent with me today. Please, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out. And especially if you like me and if you like the kind of content that I create, please subscribe. Um, click that button. It means so much to me. Every single one of you that has subscribed since I've launched my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I appreciate every single one of you and you guys all make me so happy. Um, I love the interaction in the comments. I love the community, helping each other, talking to each other. So thank you for that as well. Um, yeah, please come on over again. I love that. Let me know what do you guys think of this new background. I mean, it's not that, it's not, it is new. It's new for you guys. I've just changed where I sit at the, in my kitchen. Um, do you like this better than the fridge? Let me know. But thank you guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.